I've reviewed dozens of productivity tools and unlike most I've tried, this one actually delivers on a few things really well without compromising security. Let me explain. Traditional meeting assistants force uncomfortable trade-offs. They either compromise security by sending you data up to the cloud or they require bots to join your calls or they charge expensive subscriptions. Quill elegantly solves all these problems while offering unlimited free transcription. And before you're wondering, no, I am not paid or sponsored to make this video. I just love sharing new tech with my subscribers to help them be more productive. So feel free to hit the subscribe button for more helpful tips like this one. Now let's get right into how to use this tool effectively. In order to use this tool, head over to Quill Meetings or select the link in the description because I think I might be able to get us a discount if you end up going with a pro plan. However, you do not need to go with a pro plan. This is 100% free forever and you do not need to pay for the pro features. I will show you some of the pro features and why I'm using the pro features, but I will also share with you custom prompts that I've created that kind of do some of the work that some of the pro features that are covered by Quill. In order to use this tool, you do not need to sign up to their web app like most of the meeting note takers. Instead, you select the download the Quill free button. You will be directed to the download page. And in this case, I'm using a Mac. So I selected the download for Mac. It is downloading the um, zip file. I'll click on the zip file. And here is the downloader. I just click on that. I click on open and it's now downloading the right version and installing it on my computer. Since I already have it installed, let's head over to my installed version. This is the platform in action. On the left hand side, we see the home button. And once we click on that, we see the different options that we have in order to start a meeting. We can either start it by just clicking on this button or selecting the shortcut. We can import transcripts or YouTube videos, or we can also upload audio file recordings. This is super neat. And I actually sometimes use that in order to get the transcripts from YouTube videos. And then we can also auto start meetings by connecting it to our Google calendar, to our Zoom or to our Teams. And in order to do that, simply click on the gear icon right here and select which ones you want to connect so that it auto starts a meeting once you join the meeting. To do an example, let's start a meeting. We'll go over to an example meeting that I set up and I'm going to enter this and join it with Google Meet. Let's join now. Because we have Quill open and we have selected the auto start on Chrome meetings, it asks us if we want to use Quill for this meeting. Let's select yes and we can see that it started the meeting recording right here. In the meantime, if we go over to the app, we can see that it is uh, starting to capture the note over here on the left hand side and it will automatically summarize the notes as the meeting goes on. Let's join this meeting with our other app. And here we have ourselves in the app. The beautiful thing about using Quill for this is that we don't see another note taker in the call. So Quill is uh, acting on top of your Google Meets. So the other person on the call does not see a note taker bot that needs to join the meeting. Keep in mind, you always need to let the other person know that you're recording the meeting. It is the right thing to do and the person deserves to know that you, they are being recorded. If you want to stop or pause the meeting, you can select this button right here or you can go over to the Quill app and you can stop the meeting by clicking finish on this side of the corner. Let's exit this meeting. On the left hand side, you can now see that Quill is processing the meeting notes of what it recorded and it will give you a summary in the middle here. You can see that the transcript is right here and you can ask follow up questions. For example, please summarize this meeting. You can also ask specifics about this call. For example, who talked the most? Or you could ask, please draft a follow-up email. And we will cover that in just a second in more depth. If you want to share the recording, you can hit the share button up here, or you can listen back to your recording um, acting on top of your Google Meets, and you can export this audio and share it with others. Quill organizes meetings on the left-hand side where you can see recently deleted ones, the ones that you had the last week, and then you can also get the Quill mobile app in order to use uh, it on your phone. On the left-hand side here, we see certain meetings. So here's, for example, a meeting that I took recently. If you click on the start button here, you can play the meeting audio and play back what was said by each person. Here's an example. I am going to talk for 30 seconds. This is where I'm trying it out uh, for the first time. This is all interesting, but let me show you the more powerful things for really long meetings and why this is really truly a game changer. And uh, I'll show you some of the more powerful prompts that you can use with ChatGPT for free. And then I'll show you how you can use the pro features of Quill. Another example of using this uh, in order to be more productive is by importing certain transcripts. So let's go back to our home part, click on import. And let's say we wanna figure out what happened in this part particular product manager meeting in this uh, from today. We can find that out in a few minutes by selecting the link, 
going to our Quill app and pasting it right here. Let's click on import YouTube. And in just a second, it pulled the whole transcript of the entire 11 minute meeting uh, line by line with different timestamps, as you can see on the right hand side. And if we click on the other features that are generated, it created the meeting notes and summarized everything that was said during this call in a super nicely structured manner. This might be a pro feature, but I will show you how you can get that on your own. All right, here we have our transcripts, which is 1,800 word. Let's click on the share and the copy symbol right near here. Now it's copied to the clipboard. We can now go over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna paste it into ChatGPT. You don't need to have the advanced plan for ChatGPT. You can use any free LLM. You can use ChatGPT, Gemini or Claude or, or whatever you prefer. And in this case, I'm gonna paste it in right here and I'll go over to my custom prompt uh, template. I created a um, ultimate meeting productivity guide. And within that, I have a bunch of prompts that are super helpful for meetings. This is the meeting summarizer prompt that I generated. I'll simply uh, paste that in before. I say, review the following meeting notes transcript and create a concise summary that highlights the following things and let's simply let it do its thing and here we have it we have uh, a concise summary of the substantive points of, of the meeting uh, the key decisions made uh, and then they're outlined by bullet points with sub bullets for more information then there are the action items and responsibilities where they talked through who is responsible for what and then they talk about the important decisions and their outcomes this is super powerful and again this is you don't require the quill pro subscription however if you don't want to go through those extra steps of doing those separate things you can just generate the presentation notes right here uh, without having to leave Quill. And that alone is worth it for me. If it saves you a few minutes and is really effective, then I'm happy to go with the pro plan for that. As you can see here, this is super powerful, but it can do so much more. Let's go down here and it looks for different action items of things that it could do. You can also go on templates here. What I like to do is I like to go here and click on brief my team because this is what I share with the team. And I simply select enter. So now it is using um, a certain email template that you can use either use the template or you can customize your template. And and here we go. Team, I, uh, I attended the SEC field sync. And then here talks about the key details, the next steps. And um, I can just simply copy this and either send it out from Quill directly, or I can paste it into my own Outlook or my Gmail. Again, this is super powerful, but at the same time, you can achieve the same thing by going back to your transcript and using one of my power prompts. So here we go. I'll click on share, copy, go back to ChatGPT, create a new chat. And I have an ultimate email follow-up templates here as well. Let me click copy, paste that in, and let's get that started. And this is the email it generated. Subject line, follow up for the meeting, action items and summary. Thank you for attending the meeting. Uh, I appreciate the valuable insights, key decision points and outcomes, the action items, the deadlines, the additional notes and unresolved issues. And it formatted it in exactly the voice that I wanted it to. And I can simply copy this now and paste it into my email program. And the next feature that I'm gonna share with you brings this whole thing to a next level. It starts to categorize different action items based on importance. And this is exactly where AI is a perfect use case to handle handle these meeting notes. Let's go to the templates again, and this time we'll click on write my to-do list. We'll select this template and we'll hit enter again. As you can see here now, it categorized the different things by urgent, next, and bonus. And you can see here, it has really clear action items. For example, check for customer impact from April 8th um, OAuth change, or inform customers about default on reflect XSS support. And now within Quill, you can check off these different things, or you can connect them with your own internal project management meeting. And that's what I really Really love about this. It is very versatile and it just takes one click and you get all of these AI powered tools at your fingertips. I've also created a to-do list based off of meetings templates. I simply select this prompt and I paste it into the same chat. So we see here the to-do list. We have one urgent item thing in this case, and it came up with the same one that Quill came up with, which is the uh, figuring out the impact of the OAuth grant type, which is the first one right here, right? It came up with share the service accounts, and it also figures out who needs to do these specific things. All of this is super powerful, and it is pretty much the same thing as what you get here, but it's not formatted as nicely, and you can just check them off as easily as you can here. And this video is already really long, so hit the subscribe button if you stuck around until now. 
but um, in order to personalize this, simply click on the, the settings gear up here and click on personalizations and you can see all of the different templates that you have. You can create uh, GP nodes, you can have portfolio nodes, you can create product management tickets and you simply have to click on this button in order to add it to your meeting types and in order to add them to your templates. In particular, what I also like here is having the internal sync up because we have a lot of internal syncs and this tool is perfect to have internal syncs within our startup. Lastly, if you want to take this tool to the next level, connect it to your product management tools that I mentioned earlier, like Linear, Trello, uh, ClickUp, HubSpot meetings, and uh, it will really streamline all of your process to not only generate those meeting transcripts, but also use these powerful AI features in order to turbocharge your productivity. Overall, this tool is really helpful. It transcribes the meetings on your own machine, which uh, can help you with compliance and with your security team. So talk to your chief security officer or your CEO to figure out if you're even allowed to use this at work. And if you want access to the prompts that I've talked about in this video, there are links in the descriptions. Let me know what you think of this tool. I've reviewed more productivity meeting notes. You can check them out here. And if this video was helpful and you want more tips like this, hit the subscribe button and like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.